Game zone and today we are back with another video and I'm gonna try to get a win. We're gonna be testing up the swamps or just slurpy swamps and see how I do. See if it could be my main location to go to. I don't know. If it's not, I will do another testing out another location, but that will probably be in the next season. So, it depends on what the verdict for this video is, and at the end I will tell you what the verdict is. So, yeah. So, we win. Okay. Final one. Pop a shotgun, okay, and down. Got that. Got that. Okay, could've done better that, than that one. Okay, it does need to go. A little better, but can do that for now. Deal with this for now. Oh boy, that's not good. Okay, gotta make it. Okay, that was a huge mistake. Have to make it. Okay, to pick up that, pick up that. Need a better shotgun because I can't perform. Okay. 
some time. To get some mats. Not from the Fortella. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll take that because Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I didn't know he was the last person. Let's see left of the corner of the map corner of the map but because you got the flotilla and the rig there but you got slurpy slurpy swamps is there and it's mainly out of the circle so basically location is basically circle it's mostly out of the circle in the game you guys just watched it was half in half out so yeah that location is okay because you can get the circle but you'll most likely not get the circle so we'll go for the location we'll go it's not good location so we'll go x for that it's a no for the location needs for it to be the location the drop i call it it needs to have the majority on the check mark. So basically, you have the check mark right here, and then the X right here, which we just marked. And I also have the map right here, just so we could figure out the rest of the ro rotation. Well, the criteria. Then loot. Loot is classified as chat. Well, it's basically going to be chests, like how many chests there are, and mats. How, how much mats can you end up getting at the location? So you can get 17, you get 17 chests, which is good for a location, but it's not the most amount of chests. Then, you got, you can get a lot of mats Especially from the next one we're go we'll talk about, but it's mainly metal, and metal is the mats, is good mats, because it's much stronger than brick and wood, but you'd always want brick and wood, because you just don't want to run out. Anyways, it just depends on how much you build. 
if you want to get better, definitely get a lot more, a little bit more maps than you usually do. But you probably get 999. Anyways, don't get 999 because that will definitely leave leftover mats at the end of the match. And if the more you can build, the less leftover mats you have. So, yeah. Anyways, loot, I'll go with a check there so that's good because you got 17 chests that you can search and then out of those 17 chests you could have one of them be a rare chest which is always good which is fair but yeah health is how much health will when you leave the location would you come out of with meaning is it busy Meaning, how much fight, how often are you going to get in fights in that location? Is there any, like, slurp kegs or slurp things? Uh, anything slurp related or... Because you obviously know you're going to get shield from the chest, but then it's kind of heavily populated. It's got the slurp kegs, got slurp everything. It's... Basically, for health, you'll leave out full health almost all the time. You'll probably never run out. And yeah, so we'll go check for the health. That's obvious. Pencil dropped. Wait. So, health is a check. So, let's put a check right there. Now, rotations. So, rotations is how much is there around you, like, unnamed and named locations, and is there any, well, that's for the next, for a different one, so, rotation, well, rotations and vehicles can be the same thing, but I'm classifying them as different, you can classify them as the same anyways, if you want, anyways, so, it's basically rotations, how many named and unnamed locations are there? If you want to go to a possibly visited place, if you want to get more kills, how much? So basically, Serbia's got a lot. You got Weeping, Hydro, Logjam, Holly, Salty, and Sweaty that you can go to. But Salty and Sweaty are big treks. But there's cars there, but we'll talk about that later. So, rotations is good if. You want to get a lot of kills. Yeah. It's pretty good. So we'll go check on rotation. I was pretty sure it would be good. Like a lot of the locations would be good. It's just all. It all comes down to the last one. Basically. And we'll talk about that later. And then the marauders. Marauders. Like. How often, like, if Marauders come only once, every ten times you go, once out of every ten times you go to that, drop at that location, that would be considered a check. Because Marauders don't come off often. If you like Marauders, and you would like to kill Marauders, then the location would be if, how much, how, if it, Marauders come nine out of ten times to that location, then that would be a check for you. So basically, in my book, it's Slurpee Swamps is a check for you. In order to get a check for Marauders, you would want to go Frenzy, Lazy, and Retail. Those are the main ones I know. And Misty actually gets a lot. So yeah, if and also Holly. So those are locations if you want Marauders. Those are Marauder Heavy. I call it Marauder Heavy locations. Next up is vehicles. This could also be classified as rotations, but like how many vehicles are there? There's boats and cars. So you, if you need to rotate to Hydro because the circle is in that direction, you could have use a boat if there are still boats at Misty, at Slurpee. Then but if it, if your circle's up towards Holly and Sweaty, you could take a car. 
because there's also a gas station like right up above Slurpee. So yeah. So the road vehicles got to check for me there. Then basically, if you get a an X for a skill, like how you do there, then if you got three or more checks on the X for location for the other criteria, then it it's considered not good for me. You could do different, but that's for me. And skill, how did I do there? It basically all comes down to skill. I did good, I got six kills. I could have built more, so basically also goes into potential, not just skill, but I could have built more, because I can build. And mm, I can get a lot of kills there. I could also get a lot of kills on the rotations and all that other stuff. And I'm, yeah, so basically, skill would be check for me. So a lot of locations, like, would be checks, would be checks on the, the drop. But, you really have to think about it. Is it, which one it has the most? And this only has one check for the X, so, which is the location for me. Because different criteria does come with different things. So, yeah. So, location, it's not good, but it is the drop for me. And Holly would not be the drop. Reaping, reaping would not be the drop, probably because health. Reaping's got a lot of... Got location, rotations, marauders down, but it does not have vehicles. So that's t health, vehicles, and skill. I'm okay there. So basically, that's not that good. So it's it would be a D drop, but it wouldn't be the good drop because Slurpee has more for me. And Salty has a lot of people, so if you like getting kills off spawn, then Slur Salty is good for you. You'll get a lot of loot coming out of there. Health would be a big problem in Salty because you get a lot of people. Same with Lazy. You also get Marauders at Lazy. And my skill at Lazy is actually good. So, but it wouldn't be the drop because of Marauders. Salty is also not the drop because of health. And location's good. Rotations. You got good rotations. Yeah. And it's got vehicles. It's only my skill is not, is not, I would put my skill on the X. So, you have to do it diff like if there's more checks on the check side or the, it's, it's good, then that's not good, then that's your location basically. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video, hope you guys did learn stuff and I'm just trying to get you guys to be better if you want to get better. If you're already good and you still don't have a location, just pick a location that you like. And then if that location goes after the season, then you could pick another location using your criteria. And if it comes back because the water level blows, then, then good, you got that location back. Anyways, basically you would choose the next best location. So... Just find a location to drop at because the consistency is key because if you're more consistent, you're, you have better stats. So that's why drop, dropping at a location you, you're genuinely like you're good at 
you're good at is always key. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and I will most definitely be seeing you guys all later. Bye!